Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today we are going to do something I haven't done in a while and we are going to see if I can declutter some makeup. It's called, well I call it use it or lose it. What I do is go through my makeup, pick out some items that I haven't used in a while and see if I want to keep them or not. This is what I do in lieu of a big declutter through my makeup. I went through my palette collection recently and I will link that at the end of the video in case you want to watch that. And then I, I picked out some palettes that I want to try out and see if I want to keep them or not. Palettes that I haven't tried before like this one. The Aether Beauty. This is the Desert Sunset palette. I just don't know if this is really a palette that I would want. There's no light shades in it besides this one and this one is like a satin shade. Uh... I don't know if that really would work for what I want to do. I thought maybe I would do two eye looks today. One on one eye and one on the other. Because it's got this corally pink color in it. And I can't really think of but like one eye look to do with it. So I think that I would do that on one eye. And then on the other eye try to do a neutral look. Maybe. I don't know. Because if I could get like one good eye look out of this, then I would consider keeping it. So we will see about that. I've got a Dr. Brandt backlight, a primer that I'm almost out of. So we'll see if there's any left in this. I've got some foundation. I've got powder. I've got blush. Highlighter, bronzer, mascara, and a lip product as well. And I'll see if I have an eyeliner too. So if you're interested in me trying out some old makeup and seeing if I want to keep it or not, see if I'm going to do a declutter at the end, then hang tight because I'm getting right on into it. Okay, the first thing I'm going to try, I already put some eye primer on my eyes. That's just my Moira eye primer. Although I could have tried an eye primer, but it's too late now. Okay, this is the Backlight Primer by Dr. Briant. It says Prime Blur Glow. We shall see about that. I, I did like it because I've used up most of it. But does it stand up to the primers that I'm using now that I really, really like? Let's try this on half the face first and see if there's any difference between the two sides. Okay, it does look a little, it does look a little blurred. Nicely blurred, I would say. Okay, let's go ahead and put it on the rest of the face. Okay, it is pretty much gone. Okay, I guess we can call it quits on this product. All right, I can't even get any more out. Okay, there it comes. I didn't realize that it was pretty much gone. I just had it up here in my caddy with the rest of my other primers sinking. I haven't used this in a while because I only have a few primers. Okay, I wouldn't call it glowy or it says prime blur glow. I wouldn't really call it glowy. Maybe if you were oily, this would be if your skin was oily. This would be considered a little too much glow for you, but I think I'm not even going to cut this open to get the rest of it out. I think I'm just going to put that in my empties. So that's one item down. Okay, while this dries down on my face, we are going to work on the eyes. Okay, mm. why is that brush in with that brush? Okay, anyway. I am just going to make a neutral look with these, see um, if I can get this to look light on my eyes. I don't know. Uh, maybe I should use a different brush. 
Okay. And, yeah. So, this is kind of a tan, almost mustardy looking color. These, these, do these have shred names? Yes, they do. This one is called Desert Sand. Okay, I do like that they have shade names. I am not going to bring this very far up onto my eye, my space up here. I don't know what that's called. <laughs> if you're coming to me for professional makeup terms and stuff like that, you have come to the wrong place, my friend. Okay. Oh no, I did this eye. I wasn't supposed to do this eye. Okay. Let's just call that a transition color for that eye. And let's try not to for my left eye. And let's try not to do anything else on this eye. Okay, stop it. Okay, then I'm going into this color called, I can't even read it, it's so dark. No, I can't read it, it's way too dark. This color here, which is a, I don't know, what is this color? A more, a darker, richer, red-brown color. Not nicer looking, what is the word I'm looking for? This, does that got some sparkle in it? One of these colors has some kind of shimmer to it. I'm sorry, I'm letting you look here. And then I'm going into this even darkest color, which again, I cannot read the name. That is unfortunate. And it's this even darker brown color. And I'm interested to know how these blend together. And this palette has shimmers and satins in it. I don't know if I mentioned that already. I'm going to put a satin on my lid and then a shimmer over it or in the middle of my eye. Aether Beauty has actually gone out of business. I don't know if you knew that or not, but this is the only makeup product that I have from them. I think I bought it from a boxy drop shop. No, I got it. I actually got it in a boxy charm box. I think the premium box. Wow, this looks actually really nice together. Okay, let's lay down some shimmer. What was I going to use? Probably this color called Eternal or this color called Golden Hour. They're very similar to one another. One's a little lighter than the other. I think I'm going to use Eternal. Spray it. Yeah, this was a good choice. And I'm putting it all over my lid. This is a very, very subdued look. I will get it stuck. And these are the shimmers right here. I'm going to take this one shimmer called Sunrise right here, this one, and put it in the center of my eye lid. I'm not going anywhere till later today, and then I'll probably redo my makeup. So I'm going to do a second look on the other eye. This eye looks really good. I will clean it up and put some stuff on it. I mean, mascara and you know, all the good stuff, the eyeliner, all that. So let's turn our attention to the left eye. I've got that 
one color on. Now I'm going to go into this color called Desert Coral. All right, it's a coral color. And put it into my crease, call it my crease. Well, that is a very pretty color. And this shade seems to have some shimmer in it too. You cannot tell that from the pan. Okay, I'm going to lay down a little bit of a darker color. No, let's go with that darkest color. And blend that out. Okay, and then we're going into this coral shimmer here called Sunset. Okay. And we're going to spray it, and we're going to put it all over the lid. Oh, that is pretty. Okay, here are the eye looks right here. I'm going to clean them up and put some eyeliner on. We'll come back and try out some mascara. Okay? Sounds good. Okay, I'm liking the eye look, especially this eye over here with the pink, pinky coral look. I mean, I have lots of neutral eyeshadow palettes. But let's move on to mascara, which I have a mini that I think is drying out, but I want to try it anyway. It's called Monsieur, Monsieur, how do you say that in French? I never know how, Monsieur Big by Lancome, and I have had it for a little while, but if it's still putting out juice, I will, and it looks good, I will still continue to use it. I'll pull it out for my next shop, my stash, and keep using it until I can't use it anymore. Okay, looking pretty good. I bet with a second, with a second go around, it will look even better. It does go. Tube st does feel a little dry though. I can't, I don't remember when I got this. That's probably a sign to let it go. But it looks so good on the eyes. It smells okay. Okay, I'm gonna put another coat of that on in a minute. Let me just put some of my color corrector down under my eyes, give everything the best chance it has, and yeah, then we will try this. What is it? It's the CoverGirl True Blend Hydrating uh, Foundation Natural Finish. Okay, I've had this for a while. This used to be the my hero foundation that i used even before i started using lots of makeup i always bought this foundation and used it i have gone through so many bottles of it it was my favorite and i want to know is it still my favorite especially for drugstore foundation I remember taking it on a trip to Austin with me last year and still thinking it was really good. But I've bought some really good foundations since then, especially from the drugstore too. So this is what the bottle looks like. I have it in L2. I also have a bottle of it in L1. This is in, what's it in? I think this one is in ivory, I think. What what does it say? Anything? It just says L2. I think the L1 is fair ivory. Let's get out a couple of pumps. I'm going to be using my sponge for this. And... We're going to try it out. I think L1 might be too light for me. L1 might be too light for me. And L2 is a good match. 
it looks to be pretty good. I think it does run a little warm. Oh, um, it does smell okay. Okay, it does have good coverage. I did, I did build it up in areas that I thought needed extra coverage. So this is a nice medium coverage foundation, and I do say it has a natural finish on it. I don't, I can't find this foundation in drugstores anymore. I find it online at Amazon is where I'm able to find it nowadays. So between my L2 and my L1, I think I have enough for me right now. But um, if this doesn't go well, I'm just going to have to get rid of both of them. So right now it looks pretty pretty good uh it's sitting on my face well yeah just like i remember it being pretty good i mean so yeah we'll see how it goes with this powder this is the nyx professional makeup can't stop won't stop mattifying powder which I don't usually use mattifying powders, which is funny. But I bought this, I bought two of them a long time ago. And the shade is kind of dark from what I am used to. This is in the shade light, which I'm, I'm kind of, it's kind of interesting that that's light because it looks a little darker than light would be. But I am going to try this under my eyes. Wow, that looks good. I There is another NYX powder I like called the HD powder. And I like that one as well. I'm just going to put this in well outside of my cheeks but in my t-zone that looks great on camera I can still see all my little crinkly bits here but you know the camera you can't see everything with with the camera okay I'm gonna take my brush and brush down And just brush a little bit up here too. Just make sure we got it all. But that looks really good. Okay. The color is good. I'm going to, before I make my final decisions, I'm going to look at this in natural light too. Okay. We got that done. I put another coat of lash I have uh, mascara on my lashes i just did my eyebrows real quickly let's move on to the rest of the face okay i've got this you know, i've got i cannot read what that says do, does anybody know what that says i don't know but i got this as some kind of sample and and something i don't even know what i got this from but it is a bronzer and on the back it says coquetta bronzer and then it has the ingredients and a little tiny tiny writing but this looks like something you would say at some kind of ritual or something i don't know but i am going to try this bronzer i think i tried it before and i really liked it but i wanted to try it out again Yes, and please thank you. This is like a very good color. Okay, this is a very beautiful bronzer. I'm kind of sad I just have it in a mini. And it looks great with this foundation on. Am I just seeing things or what? 
I don't know. And this powder, and it goes with. The, this might be a very unsuccessful. Can't use it or lose it. We'll have to see. Okay, the next thing I have is a mini blush from Nisho Beauty. I think I got this in an Ipsy glam bag. It is called Nisho Beauty Single Blush in the shade Madame. It's a nice, it's a nice color, but it's nothing to write home about. Uh, it was between this one and another one I found, but the other one was really glowy. This one is just matte. It kind of goes with this eye color here, though. But I'm kind of like the way I am with blushes. I mean, the way I am with highlighters. I'm like, mm, I don't really like getting rid of blushes. I'm kind of like, I don't like getting rid of highlighters. But my blush drawer is kind of getting out of hand. Not, I don't have a whole drawer for blushes. I have a bin for blushes. Okay, I will say there's nothing special about this blush worth keeping a whole mini around. So, that is what it looks like. It's very pretty, but worth keeping around? I don't know. I think I have this color plenty of times over. We will, we'll have to, we will see. We will see, we will see. Okay, for highlighter. I have this liquid gold platinum highlighter from Bella Pierre. I thought I would give liquid highlighters a chance, but I just don't, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. I have tried this one out several times, but I just haven't been wowed by it. That is what it looks like sheared out. I am just going to put it on my sponge here and pat it in. Can you even see it? And when you commit to one of these cream blushes, you are committing hard because there is a lot in that tube. And it does dry down fast. Um, yeah, I already need more on my hand. I guess you could dot it. Oh, that seems like a lot. I don't like doing that. Because now I have a lot. Look at that. I guess I could have used less, but and it seems to move the move your foundation around. No, I like it, but I don't like it. You know what I'm saying? I do like how it looks. It is kind of a subtle look. When it's all said and done and you get it all blended out, I'm going to blend it with this highlight, I mean this blush here. I'm going to have to look at it in the in natural lighting and see what I think before I make my final decision. Because here with the lights and everything, it looks good, but I'm gonna have to make my final decision after I look at it in natural lighting. So let's move on to the rest of the eyes. Let us take, let me take out my tools here. And I don't know what I wanna do with this eye. Okay, I'm going back into this first shade and just going underneath the eyes. Mm -hmm. 
just gonna do this real simple like and then I'm going to take that second darkest shade and just go one third of the way underneath my eyes outlining my lower lash line I'm going to take that coral pink color and take it underneath my eyes take that second darkest color even though I didn't use it over here but I am going to outline all the way under my eyes okay let me put some mascara I know things don't fall over and over here let me put some mascara on my lower lash okay and on both eyes I'm gonna take this color called twilight this color right here and put it on the inner inner corner highlight and the brow bone highlight I do like that it has a nice color for this a nice light color for doing being able to do this okay I was gonna try out an eyeliner this NYX liner in the shade all time olive maybe I'll try it under this eye right here these NYX ones are really hard to get going and let's see if I can get it to work under my eye I might have to I might be right back okay I actually put olive under both of the in both the water lines even in this one and it wasn't that bad well there it goes on the floor okay <laughs> okay it does make my eyes water when I put things on my waterline that is nothing new but I think it looks good under both eyes to tell you the truth even the even the corally pink look so yeah okay I like that let's move on to lips and this is probably gonna throw the whole look off because I got a liquid lipstick and you know how much I love liquid lipsticks Ugh. this is from Kevin and Coco this doesn't have a color just number six and it is a dark brownish red I think I'm not using a lip liner it smells like watermelons a watermelon <laughs> watermelon um jolly ranchers to be exact and we all know how great I am look at me I am just perfect at doing this that's why I need a lip line a lip liner okay and here is what the final look looks like of course I have two different eyes <laughs> and yeah look how messy I got this oh my gosh me and liquid lips oh my gosh but I do like to have them in my collection let me pick this up off the ground I did put some lip gloss over them it's that multi-chrome dripping diamonds one that I have I checked this look out in natural light and it looks really 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 good and that's not always I can't always say that for all the looks that I make so this was a very successful uh or it's probably going to be an unsuccessful declutter let's just say that okay let's go over everything this i'm putting in the empty bin i don't like the way i it was definitely i don't know why i used it so much to tell you the truth i need something to cover up my uh to blur my pores and this elf liquid poreless putty primer is what I use to do that so I use that in combination with the elf power grip primer and it makes my pores look really really good so I would even if this was full to bursting at the seams I would probably declutter it anyway 
Okay, let's move to smaller things. This NYX eyeliner, I'm putting it back into rotation. So, actually, I keep all my eyeliners in that caddy. I don't rotate them for Shop My Stuff. So, I'm going to keep it right there. So, yeah, I am going to keep it. Okay, with this, uh, I'm torn. I think um, I'm going to keep this for now. This is the Monsieur, Monsieur Big Lashes by Lancome. It looks so nice. I just got to remember to use it. So, I am going to keep it in rotation for next month. And remember to freaking use it. Okay. I am going to keep the bronzer. That looks really, really good. Oh my gosh. And it's powder, so it's not going anywhere soon. So I'm keeping that. Uh, and this looked really good. I would be crazy to not keep it. I mean, it does emphasize my texture and all. But I really need to remember to keep it. So, yeah, I'll probably put it in rotation next month. This powder looks really, really good on my skin. Really do enjoy it. I have this and I have a backup. I've got to pull this, probably pull this out for next month's rotation as well. Looked really good along with the foundation. Looked really good. Definitely going to keep those. I think... I'm gonna keep this too, even though it's a lot of trouble to put on. I really love the color of it. And yeah, it works with this look. I think it even works with this look too. So yeah, I think it's a keeper for now. Might even pull it out for rotation next month. And yeah, the eyeshadow palette. I really, really love this look. This look, it looks good kind of some shimmers in some unexpected places but i don't think i'm gonna get rid of it which is really surprising to me because i thought this was a goner i honestly thought this palette was uh, was going to be saying goodbye to me today so but honestly when i redo my makeup this afternoon because i'm going somewhere tonight i might recreate this look right here with this um foundation and this powder just with a different blush and probably a different lipstick too and yeah maybe a different highlighter i don't know i might use this highlighter with time can only tell i don't know we will see how it wears on through the day by the time I get to around to doing my makeup. But I think I might use this palette. Absolutely. The only thing I am going to be declaring today is this blush. It There's just nothing special about this blush. And, yeah, I think I probably have this blush in a blush palette somewhere in my collection. So, yeah. This is probably the only use it or lose it where I'm only decluttering one thing. Well, uh, two things. Two things. This really doesn't count because it's pretty much empty anyways. So that's more of an empty situation. So I'm really only decluttering one thing. I'll say I would declutter that Barclay primer if it was full. But yeah, let's just say we're decluttering one thing today. Okay, let, I know this has turned out to be a long video. Let me know down below what you think of these items. Do you have any of them? What are your thoughts on them? Is there anything you have decluttered lately from your collection because you just don't like it or because you're just not using it? Let me know. I would love to know that too. In the comments below, please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Share it with your friends if you are so inclined. But you watching to this point in the video really, really helps me out. Thank you so much for watching. Whether you are a returning subscriber, a casual viewer, or this is your very first time to my channel. Thank you so much 
for being here. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing, hitting that notification bell, setting it to all so that you're notified every time that I upload a new video. So I hope y'all are all having a wonderful, amazing day today. If you are having an especially hard time, know that I'm thinking about you and sending you all of those good vibes. Just remember to stay strong, stay healthy, and stay safe out there. And I will see you in another video soon. Did any of this get on my teeth? No, it didn't. All right. Good deal. Just stay well until then. Okay. Goodbye.